Hey guys, I'm Jose from Teclado, and I've been teaching students how to code online for over seven years. Developers are amongst the most highly sought after professionals in today's workforce, with demand increasing every day. Also, coding is extremely interesting, useful and rewarding. Because of these reasons, more and more people want to get into it. Let me tell you about how I did it and how I think you can do it as well. I was in a bit of a privileged position in that I started programming when I was just a kid. My dad was really the one who sparked my interest towards programming and the one who started teaching me. We didn't get very far together, I was young and coding ain't easy, but it was a start. The main benefit I got from starting early, even if I didn't really know anything, is that learning to code felt possible, it felt like something I could do if I put the time into learning about it. So a few years later, I stumbled upon a problem I wanted to solve that needed coding in order to be solved. I feel like the stars sort of aligned for me at that point, and I started learning to code properly in order to solve this automation problem. So what do I mean with, you know, the stars aligned? Back then, it wasn't as easy to learn to code. I had tremendous luck in that I had a clear purpose for learning to code. I stumbled across a community of teachers and learners tackling similar problems. And in this community, I found tutorials and resources to learn exactly what I needed to learn. I think these three points together really made it for me. And I think if you can find these things, it's going to make your learning journey that much easier and enjoyable. Let me tell you about each of these in detail. Learning to code can be super overwhelming, especially if you're a beginner. I wouldn't get too stressed about picking the perfect language to learn. The basic concepts of coding are similar across all languages, so it doesn't really matter which one you go for. The most important thing is, why are you learning to code? Do you want to automate your job, make websites, make mobile apps, make games? If you're not sure at all, you just think you should learn to code, I recommend you start with a simple language that lets you focus on learning how to break down problems. That's one of the most important skills for coding, and I think the language Python is the best starting point. But if you do know what you want to do, then here's a few suggestions. Feel free to pause the video to take a closer look. A disclaimer though, I use and teach mostly Python, so I'm a bit biased. But as you can see, Python appears a lot in my recommendations. It really is a great language to learn. When I was learning how to code, there were not very many tutorials available. Nowadays, you can, you can shake a tree and Python tutorials will fall out. There are a lot of free tutorials available and there are a lot of paid tutorials available too. One is not necessarily better than the other. What you want to do is find an instructor that you can learn from. When I was starting, there was this guy, uh, Bucky Roberts, the new Boston on YouTube. He maybe doesn't have the best reputation nowadays because his teaching method glosses over understanding how things really work, but I could learn from him. He made it fun and engaging, and I think that helped me keep going. Hopefully, the instructors you find have a learning path that will take you to where you want to be, but often that's not going to be the case. Even if you start learning from one instructor and then continue learning from another after a while, that's okay too. Just try to find someone you find engaging and who knows what they're doing and just get started. If you're struggling to find a good instructor, I'd recommend checking out Udemy. It's a website that contains video courses and the best selling courses for Python and JavaScript there are actually quite good. I've taken a bunch of them myself, so it's really difficult to go wrong. In other platforms where people make courses more as a hobby, sometimes you can come across an instructor who maybe seems engaging but doesn't actually know what they're doing and vice versa. This is a place where course reviews can really help out. You might be tempted to do one of those three month boot camps and try to cram in as much information as possible. But in my experience, that can give you mixed results and it can be really expensive as well. Your mileage may vary. And normally those are better for students who have been coding for a while and just want to get job ready. Starting off with a boot camp can make you feel really overwhelmed. Okay, so let's say that after all of that, you found a course or tutorial to follow. That was the easy part. Now comes the not so easy part. You need to be strict with yourself. You cannot just watch the videos or read the blog posts. Programming is like learning any other human language. Code alongside your instructor. Practice. Fluency comes with constant use. And as you learn more, 
you'll come up with new project ideas that you can code. Make those projects and keep learning so that you can code the things that you want to code. I mentioned earlier on when I was learning to code, something that really benefited me was to chat with other learners who were learning the same stuff. We taught each other and learned from each other and kept each other going. In our group, we have people with more experience as well as some with less experience. There are plenty of online communities for coders and students just like you. Joining a community and talking with people can find you collaboration and mentorship opportunities as well as just help you keep going and keep learning. I run a Discord server for my students, so if you're starting to learn to code or you're thinking of learning to code, feel free to join it. We can help you with coding questions, questions about finding good courses and tutorials, or really anything else you need. Now a message from our sponsor, <laughs> which is me. If you're starting to learn how to code and you really don't know if it's for you, starting with a free tutorial is probably the best way to go. That way, you're not spending any money on something that you might not want to pursue. That's why we recently released the 30 Days of Python series. It's a beginner-friendly yet comprehensive Python course that guides you through a lot of the main coding and Python topics you need to know. Also, it comes with dozens of exercises and quizzes so that you can practice as you go along. But if you're sure you want to learn to code and you want to do so as efficiently and professionally as possible, then you might want to check out our complete Python course. That is a 35 hour long Python video course that covers absolutely everything you need and more. That includes how to use Python for automation, desktop app development and web development. After that course, you'll have strong knowledge of Python and everything you can do with it. For the free 30 day course, go to python30.com. And for the complete Python course, check it out on Udemy. It's all linked in the description anyway. All right, that's everything from me for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and go and get started with your coding journey. I'll catch you in the next one.